Right, now welcome back. Earlier on, I uh, promised we're going to be talking about million dollar teachers. What on earth am I talking about? Well, the second million dollar global teacher prize has, for the first time, announced two South African teachers as part of the top 50 on the list. Uh, Colleen Henning is uh, the science head at St. John's Boys College uh, in Johannesburg. And uh, whilst teaching university students and teaching part time as a postgraduate, she's discovered her love of making a difference to others. Warren Sparrow is a teacher at Rondebosch Boys Prep School and that's in the Western Cape and his main focus is technology and he encourages a national curriculum for ICT. Well, Colleen is here with us and Warren is in our Seapoint studios whereas the, whilst the organiser of the competition, Vikas Pota, will be joining us on Skype from London. A very good morning to you, Vikas. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. All right, tell us about this uh, Global Teacher uh, Prize. A uh, million dollars is a lot, and I guess uh, there's a real emphasis to want to celebrate the work of teachers. It's very simple. Um, you know, if, if, if there was no million dollar tag to it, I'd be doing that on TV. So uh, I think the point is made in terms of it gets the world's attention. But the real prize is in all these stories, uh, are all these stories being surfaced about the greatness that happens in schools. Um, you know, seldom are teachers celebrated. And this prize, we've seen an energy that comes out of it. This is our second year. Um, and with Colleen and Warren, for example, the great, they are great exemplars of your education system, which you in your country and international circles you know, people speak in mo much more challenging tones, um, you know, but actually there are pockets of excellence everywhere and these two teachers exemplify that and we should celebrate that. South Africa should get behind them. All right, so um, they're not going to be able to tell us why they're special, but maybe you can. What is it that you, what is different about the uh, teachers on this list that uh, you, you, you whittle down to? Well, the things that come through, and not just about these two teachers, but the 50 that we've shortlisted, is their, their commitment to continuous professional development, their, 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 their commitment to pushing standards here in their countries, uh, their commitment ultimately to make sure that learning outcomes in their classrooms are, are, are much better than what the average or what people have come to expect. Um, that commitment is what we're trying to showcase. I live in London where every dinner table discussion is about, you know, someone or, or another comes back to education or someone's school and, and, and starts deriding the system uh, in some way or another. Isn't it great that today we are having a discussion about two teachers uh, as opposed to someone like Kim Kardashian who <laughs> shakes a leg and the, and the internet breaks? I'd rather these teachers break the internet than anything else. Um, we should celebrate and showcase their achievements, their innovation and their zeal. And South Africa should be very proud. And indeed we are. In fact, let's have a chat uh, with those uh, two teachers. Let's start with you, Colleen. Uh, you're teaching here in Johannesburg. Um, and I guess for you, this is, you're just doing your job, but you're, you're doing things slightly differently. Tell us about your work and what inspires you to, to, to do a little bit more than the average teacher? I just do what I love, and, and yeah. I think that's the most important thing. Um, the, the thing that, that it inspires me is, is my mm. students and, and my colleagues. I love working with people, and I think my science background uh, has made me particularly passionate about teaching science and, and actually trying to develop what's happening in science education in South Africa. So um, we do a lot of sharing, collaborative work with, with other teachers across the country um, and, and really try and, and get people mm. to be part of a community that, that we can all grow. Um, and that really excites me. So, you know, we've got this challenge of um, people say maths and science are like the difficult ones, the hard ones to do. So you must be finding a way to an open this world to, to young uh, uh, learners. M maths and science can be challenging, mm -hmm. but at the same time, everybody can do it. And I think you have to have a belief that, yes, I can. And mm. um, if you have a, a, a teacher that's, that's passionate and, and has good content knowledge, that um, any student would be able to make it.
All right. Well, your fellow nominee uh, in this category is uh, Warren Sparrow, and he's in our Seapoint Studios in Cape Town. Now, Warren, thank you very much. I mean, congratulations, rather. Uh, and thank you for making us proud uh, uh, of being on this list of global teachers. Your focus is an ICT. Tell us a little bit about uh, the work that you do and uh, how it's impacting the future of education. Well, first of all, thank you very much for uh, having me on. Um, the great thing about ICT is that it's always evolving. So things keep on changing all the time. Um, the, the other great thing is the, the students just want to be in your class. Um, they, they, they want to learn the new things. And all the things that they do, we then share and collaborate uh, either online or on blogs uh, or on web pages so that other students and other teachers can use the content that we create or that the students create. So tell me a little bit about, because I, I, I'm just getting a sense that maybe uh, the school itself also helps you a great deal to be able to do what you need to do. What is it that perhaps the rest of the schools can learn that you're doing right at Rondebosch that makes it easy for you to do what you're doing? <laughs> well, um, the first thing I have to say is that I have really great support uh, at my school from, from my headmaster, uh, from, from the board, as well as all the other staff members as well. So we get together, we see what we would like to do with the, with the students, and we make sure that the outcomes that are covered can then be used and shared um, globally as well as locally for, with uh, all other schools and students um, in South Africa. All right, so at the moment, we don't have a, a proper ICT curriculum uh, that's uh, in play. What are your thoughts about that, and what needs to change? Well, um, I look at the education department and the work that they're busy doing at the moment, I think is really great. I look at the e-portal that the Western Cape Education Department has just launched, and I think these are all the right kind of steps um, to, be, to be taken forward. And for other teachers to become involved in this and share their content and allow other staff to be able to use this for the benefit of all the students in South Africa. All right, so Vikas, let's go back to you in uh, the UK. Um, I'm curious to try and understand uh, what are you hoping will change? What will this Global Teacher Prize do to the profession if your ambitions are uh, play out? You see, the first thing is, is that is that we we should put teachers on a on a platform, and this prize actually allows us to have that conversation. In in places like India, where you have the word guru, the teacher has been totally derided. So the thing is that, why would anyone consider joining the teaching profession when there's when there's no status attached to it? There's no love. There's no recognition, and in many cases, they aren't paid well. And so by turning the conversation about how excellent teaching profession is, people may consider the next generation, uh, the brightest and the best, may actually consider becoming teachers. And I, th I think that is the real prize. And I, and I would say also that, uh, you know, a lot of these teachers are teaching sometimes in very challenging environments, some actually in fear of life and limb, um, some in very, very poor and impoverished uh, areas. And I guess the challenge is finding these teachers and encouraging them. Yes, and what we have is um, you should visit www.globalteacherprize.org and you will look at the profiles of the 50 teachers and you will feel nothing but a warm glow that these individuals exist in the world and 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 there is hope in the world and so when we think when we talk about the challenging times i can tell you about at least 5 to 10 teachers who are in the top 50 who who come from the most challenging circumstances whether it's in uh, afghanistan uh, palestine and, and india Actually, there's an African teacher who is in our top 50 who has created a anti-radicalization curriculum to fight the Al-Shabaab in Kenya. Now, that is pretty special as far as I'm concerned. And so when you put Warren and Colleen in, in, in the same group, the, the entire group benefits because they become a, a 
a, a phenomenal group of change makers in the world. All right, Vikas, I'm just going to start wrapping up now. Colleen, just one last question for you. Uh, what is your hope? I mean, what can we do to make sure that we have loads of Colleen's out there? I, I think you just encourage good the people to go into teaching. Mm. Um, you give them the space to be professional, to, to learn um, and, and to, to follow their dreams. And um, if, you, if you do that, anything's possible. Um, mm. Absolutely. And Warren, your final thoughts in terms of other teachers around you, um, how can we encourage them to be uh, another Warren and Colleen and be on this list? Um, to be quite honest, with all my dealings with uh, many different teachers from around the, the country, there are so many dedicated teachers, and as you mentioned, uh, many of them are working with very little resources, and um, I look at the work that they do, and to me they're actually quite inspirational for me, just looking at what they are achieving with so little. So I always believe if we look at what certain teachers are busy achieving with so little, I think all teachers should be able to achieve so much. All right. Well, congratulations uh, to you, Colin Sparrow. I mean, Warren Sparrow, who's in uh, 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 Runderbosch uh, uh, Prep School in the Western Cape. Colleen Henning, St. John's in Johannesburg. Congratulations on making the top, t uh, top 50 list of uh, global teachers. And to Vickers, thank you so much as, as well for your organization uh, for, uh, as you say, glorifying, I think, the, the, the amazing work that teachers are doing. So thank you very much indeed. And we look forward to seeing who the winners are in Dubai in March. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. We're going to take a quick break and uh, we'll be back right after this. Stay with us. Mm -hmm.